lots of new people, what's going to happen, they ask questions and, and things like that. So it's, it's still growing up. So obviously for me, I went to Ireland, um, I ditched the wig. Uh, I decided it would be a great idea to celebrate by throwing my um, Barrington Hair Studio handmade real hair wig that I think cost around $2,000 into my uncle's fireplace. Um, that, was my, uh, <laughs> that was my farewell gift to, to wearing a wig. Um, yeah, but that was quite empowering. And so I know several other people who have decided to ditch the wig, females as well. Um, they obviously, it's around this age, you know, this is where we start to diverge from the male female experience. You know, 20, 19 to 25 females aren't, according to society, supposed to be bald and, and never in young men. Uh, where I first started having problems, a different unexpected problem, is that uh, white supremacists love me. Um, I've been in, I've lived in four different countries, and in every country uh, I've had people trying to make friends with me who were skinheads and Nazis. Um, in the UK I had the head of one of their notorious groups, he's now in prison for doing nail bombs, from Unit 88 come up to me in a pub and go, hey, you meet, oh yeah, here you go. Oh, you want to ask really good, you love your hair, how do you get your hair so good, how do you get that shiny hair, and it's all, got a picture, good boy. <laughs> I did, wasn't that polite. Um, but you know, it's sort of, that was my experience, and I think that's where the sort of female and male path starts to diverge, because you know, hair is a, a very big part of the female um, lifestyle, you know, they want to, you know, whereas male sort of like, Males go bald eventually, most of us. Um, and I think that's where we start to diverge. And it's it's pretty stupid, really, because a lot of it's society. Um, and it's where my friends, like, as I got to 25, 30, my friends started going bald. And then it was sort of, I was almost off the hook. Um, <laughs> you know, but it, it's just weird, because basically my friends started going bald, and then I really haven't had any bad things happen about alopecia, you know, got some bad memories and stuff like that, but, you know, the people staring at me have stopped because I'm old, I'm 45, <laughs> no, um, you know, but sort of like that, so that's where it, it has become quite easy for me simply because I'm young, I think that's utterly ridiculous because, you know, the, the females have got, this, you know, he is still you're supposed to be part of you personality and it defines you and stuff like that. So it's, it's what I think is great about this society and stuff, working to change that perception so people can, can do what they want. So um, basically, yeah, the, what I've found the male journey to be is, you know, it's, it's probably similar for all of us until you reach a certain age and then it seems to, to go off. Um, even when I was young, it was... Uh, quite strange because I went for job interviews and when you're 21 you're going for your first jobs it's all about presentation and stuff like that and you're like god I've got to look good and I was bored then I was like oh god what should I do this rock in they don't like it they sign off um, and then about two years later I got the job my boss left and I took his position and um, I found the recruitment notes that were written about me which were absolutely cracked me up and I think I said some of this to someone at the dinner last night um, he looks weird, but I warm to him the most. Uh, I don't think he's got anything to hide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, that's a compliment, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I sort of, yeah, you because know, I've been in, in these alopecia groups, you know, I think it's, um, oh, that infamous bubbles. Yeah, I think I always get asked about, is it easy for males or isn't it? And you can actually see a lot of arguments because if you go to a male who's like 15 and say, oh, you know, your male alopecia is easier, you're going to get a fiery reply, but I think, you know, it seems to be age-related, in my, my opinion, you know, it seems a lot easier for males, and I think that's stupid. So I think that as long as we keep pushing and doing awareness and other things, we can work to change that. And that's it. Because those boys weren't here, because I really wanted to have more of my experience with the boys, but I thought well, a lot of you have heard me already, so I just didn't want to regurgitate what I said a couple of years ago. So um, I don't know if you've got any questions about what I've talked about, all the statistics. The statistics are quite interesting. Um,
Um, so these are all the big subsidy payments that are supposed to be for people with alopecia. Um, but I haven't really, I can't really verify it um, because they just sent the heads of the numbers. So it's, um, they're done by DHB um, per year. You know, there's some sort of patterns. Christchurch has always been quite a higher number, but you know, we've just got a central DHB. There is you know, Auckland, you've got Auckland DHB, counties Manukau, yeah, so the Auckland area. So um, in total, I think last year there were 3,400 or people who claimed with subsidy. So you know, there's a lot of it's happening and we don't know what their journey is, or we don't know is this like, is each number just one person? So if I do like, if I, or if I did like five claims in a year, does that count as five cases and stuff like that? Yeah, 
uh, it's, it's really interesting. The um, no, sorry, I didn't properly finish my speech. Um, <laughs> up to 25, the, the women's subsidies, man, they're through the roof. Uh, basically, three quarters of the female subsidies are after the age of 40. Whereas the male one just really weirdly seems to go down in about 80 or 90. Jumped up, and there's someone who's 102. <laughs> Somewhere um, wow. has got one. So it's sort of that different experience. It's sort of like, you know, how many of those people? That's the only number we've got for television. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, how many people got it as a child? I've got it as an Although Iriata, 